Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My name is Rachel Bota. I come from Zambia, from the beautiful continent of Africa. I am a daughter of Zion. My father owns all of you, so I just want to say I greet all of you, children of Jesus, whether you don't know it or not. I share my love, my respect, my kindness, my compassionness to all of you. Never do I take weakness or mockery because I save the God that is above, where I pray. And he takes man for my sake. I pray men die because my father is that powerful. So when I come here, I give love, I give peace, I give respect. If you people are Muslim, I give you respect according to your tradition. I say salam alaikum. And to all the Christians and everybody that's created in God's image, I say God bless you and enjoy this time of just fellowship. I'm here to praise and worship just tell you guys about my dad you don't have to ask me but I want to tell you guys about my father because he loves all of you my dad is Jesus my father is God the master Messiah and he loves all of you I'm here to share the love that he has for all of you the same love I received is always available if you want to receive it may God bless all of you may God bless all of you When I'm ready, I'll give you the mic. I just got started. I just got started. So when I'm ready, I'll give you. So Jesus, I'm in the spirit today. I didn't come to play. I beg Facebook, you know, I dash. No go shame for her. I just want to call the presence of the Lord and I'm going to first read from Psalms 102 chapter 17. So I'm going to open my Bible. around here the spirit of joking with God but then they be joking with the right Zion of the <laughs> this one she will teach these children today she will give them holy ghost but she will let them respect because they've been living in this society with no respect one I will teach them respect and then two I will ask the Holy Spirit to locate all of you make you they behave like human beings because your parents they raise better people than you but don't worry now you have time for boys like you eh? have time for boys like you keep laughing there by the time I finish the Holy Spirit will whip you for me no joke I mean go Psalms 102 the Bible says display charity begins at home if your mama don't teach you I love you I will help your mama make her teach you oh yeah God bless you Psalms 
Psalms 102, chapter 17, the Bible says, Oh, yeah, read. He will respond to the prayer of the destitute. He will not despise their plea. You hear me? You have a plea. You're something troubling you, somebody disturbing your life, problems. I want to tell you guys, there's somebody that can, I can Allah's open us up for you. And I spoke to Joe Leaf that as you cut your heart open, come with respect and leave, get cave and eat the rain. I can show lead a pinna lata coma. My is needs to push. He has respect. So you're gonna respect yourself there. You're gonna let me worship God in peace. Uh huh. Let me sing it to you. He will respond to the prayer of the destitute. He will not despise their plea. And then Psalms 103. That's just my God. He don't play for my life. He loves me so much. He even loves the people that don't worship him. So if I worship him, he loves me four, five million times. You better believe it. So anybody who don't play with me, it they vex my God. Because my God has given me love to give to all mankind, all race. It doesn't matter if you are black, you are white, you are gay, you are straight. My God loves you. He's that type of God. They've told you at church that he don't love you. He's a God of love. He's a God of peace. He's the master. He reigns in victory. Anything giving you problems in your life, come to my God. There is so much kindness with Jesus. That's why the most even the way I know Jehovah Messiah, he reigns in victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Psalms 103, verse, let me look at my verses. Psalms 103, 10 to 14, it tells me something as well. He does not treat us as our sin deserve or repay us according to our iniquity for as high as the heavens and above the earth, the earth so great is his love for those who fear him As far as the east is from the west, so far he removed our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion for those who fear him, for he knows how we were formed. He remembers that we are dust. That's Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. God loves all of us. My brother, you are here again. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. I pray God has done wonderful things for you since I saw you last time. Amen. You see, when, when you come here, God prepared you already. He make a table in front of your enemies. God loves all of us. All of you, you are children of the Most High. He loves you. I outshow you for you. Ma 
mark me out, but mention of the vero dent is fault. Thank you very God bless you. Mark me out, but mention of the vero dent that I am fault. God sees above and beyond. He has our sins in his eye. But the Bible tells me where my iniquities are in front of his face. See this man, they love me. He loves you. He loves you. See how God is good. When they say God is good, he don't be lying. God is good. Just good. Go to God, he will do the rest. And he works with all of us in different ways. That's the problem. When we meet Christ, we want to set each other on the same path. Your journey for Christ and my journey for Christ are two different things. The same thing that we have is we save the same living God. And we shall all be favored in all our own ways. I don't have to rush for nothing. Because the God I save has my time, my life, my purpose, my plan. My days are numbered by him. What else? But not me. Only God. So I decided, you know, I will seek this man for the rest of my life. I beg, let's also go to James chapter 5, verse 16. I want us to read some scriptures before we sing today. Hmm? Hallelujah. Yes, Lord.
and I've always gone back at the world. Forgive me, wash me, and cleanse me with the blood of Jesus. Forgive me and cleanse me and wash me with the blood of Jesus. I confess to you. Thank you, Bill. God bless you. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Bill. I give my life to you. Come, we confess together. Have mercy on me. Mercy, 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 Jesus. Thank you, baby. Come on, we confess together. Say it. Mercy, 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 Jesus. about anything, okay? Allah's comfort. Okay? He will hear you. He will make you into a great nation. Okay? Bless you. I love you, my brother. I love you. God shine your light upon him. Go with him. Protect him and cover him in your blood, Jesus. Favor him, please. Fight his battles for him. Put all his enemies to shame. No weapon formed against his life shall prosper. Be in front of him and behind him and all faults. All sides in Jesus' name. Let's go to John 1. First John 1, verse 9. First John 1, verse 9 tells me. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just will forgive us our sins and purify us from all our unrighteousness. If we confess, tell him the sins. What sins do you have? Speak them out by name. Did you steal? Did you kill? Did you lie? 
Did you do something? Are you sitting on something that can help somebody's life? You know about the truth and you have decided to keep yourself in a good light. Sins that we've been collecting for ourselves. What type of sin you have? Me? I just say by mercy and grace. I don't even have time to tell him I want to count. Count where? To take the rest of my life to count my sins. Go to Hebrews chapter 8 verse 12. Hebrews 8 verse 12. The Bible says, For I will forgive the wickedness, and I will remember their sins no more. He forgives, he's not like men, he forgives. Cause if he had to remember every sin we commit, do you even imagine how bad it would be? We would never go forward. That's why Jesus died, so we can live this life. When he forgives, he remembers no more. I said when he forgives, he seeks no vengeance no more. That's how good God is. Romans 5 verse 8. Come on, today I've got Bible verses before I sing. Romans 5 verse 8. Yes, Romans 5 8. you go and confess he's going to forget all your sins go today come 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 i'll tell you romans 5 verse 8 tells me but god demonstrates his own love for us in this world we were still sinners christ died for us understand that it's very easy oh but God demonstrates his own love for us he is what we were sinners Jesus died for me thank you Lord
want the whole world to know Verse 33. It's a common one. 
But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness And all things will be given to you as well You're gonna be rich You're gonna be blessed You're gonna be intelligent You're gonna be powerful You're gonna be strong You're gonna be beautiful You're gonna be everything you wanna be You heard what the Bible says I read it's Jesus' own words. He says, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. But seek his kingdom first and his righteousness. And all to you all things will be given to you as well I said all things will be given to you as well all things will be given to you as well seek his kingdom first seek God first go close learn how he speaks to you learn how he made understand what he's trying to say talk to Jesus tell him I want to hear you I want to hear you Lord before the miracles before the blessings before the favor I want to hear the true word the true voice of God so that men don't fool me on earth so that men don't choke me out here on earth so that men don't deceive out here on earth so that men don't lie to me again but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all things will be given to you as well first you're praying for riches that's the problem you're weak every time you people are just praying for the same thing God give me this God give me this you don't seek God how can you, how can you, even when he give you present, you never understand. Seek him first. Seek God first. Wait, I'm looking for good light so that we can see each other. Because I see that the light is not good. Let's go. Wait, wait. Brothers, seek God first so that you don't have to go to your pastor, your pastor to be a meat man for you. The problem is that now, pastors, you are lying to people. I want to inform you, pastors, you are not raising people to be independent warriors. You are raising Christians. That's why with me, I don't have anybody that I am raising. Don't look for mentorship for me, please. I'm not me looking for salvation like you. So they make you, yeah, me, I got to be just one. Yeah, me, I got to this one. Yeah, me, I got to this one. Oh, it's Kacha. You see the people from last time and they are coming again. Hello. Me, I got to this pastor. Yeah, my pastor do this for me. Your pastor has killed you. Your pastor talked to God. Now you people have taught people to speak. What you do is people pastor go to God. Pray, pray, pray. Collect your message for you. Or some of them, I mean, they don't even come and deliver the message for you. They go put their own personal lies and their own malice and their own intention, their own offering, their own money to chop their own their own mis manipulation, and then they could come and deliver the message to you. By the time you receive it, you is not even your message. This message has been composed by five, three people plus the demons inside the pastor. So you people don't even receive message. You receive demons. That's why some of you have been saying they've been prophesying me. My prophecy never came. 